First Minister, you've said you would like to have another referendum mm. before the next Scottish elections. The UK government saying no. What's your strategy to get around that? My strategy is to build support for independence and to make and win the case and build the demand for people in Scotland to have that choice. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about the, the diktats of a government that has no credibility, no authority, changes its mind every day and is probably going to be out of office before too long. Instead, I will make the preparations that are within my ability to make right now and make the case for independence. You could present it to the UK government and they've said they would say no. I'm just curious to know what can you do around that? I mean, you've said, you know, previous conferences, you've told your supporters that there will be another referendum. The last time we had an no, interview, but like you, you told me it wasn't a matter of it, if, I, but when. I tell you that so, right now. So, it, so what I'm wanting well, to tell them, what's your strategy not, to make sure that that's, is that just, you know, is that is that the hope of a lifelong no, look, independence no, voter? Or is that the promise of a first minister it, to the people of the country? It, it's the opinion of a Democrat. It is not sustainable and it will not be sustainable for the UK government to stand in the way of the will of the Scottish people. You said two years ago that it wasn't sustainable when Theresa May said those, those words that she kept saying again and again, now is not the time. And I said two years ago we would spend time focusing on Brexit. Well look, we can worry about, I'll, I'll make the case as First Minister and I will make the case for independence and I'm confident that's the case we will win. The debate has been happening, I mean there hasn't, you know, independence hasn't gone away, you know, you've uh, dedicated huge resource to this national conversation, you're now talking about a national assembly. The people of Scotland seem to be saying, you know, according to all of the polls, that it's still very much as it was in 2014. That's actually, the, that's actually not well, true. There's no indication that if you held Peter, another Peter, referendum, there's an win opinion it. poll out today, and it still shows the overwhelming majority of people in Scotland do want a referendum. Difference of opinion about timing, which is why my job is to say to people, look, it would be wrong to have a referendum right now, but we mustn't leave it so late that the damage of Brexit is done to us. So those people who want a referendum, and they see you as you know the person who can lead them to that. They want to know what's your strategy to get it. The UK government's strategy is very clear. They keep saying no. Is, I'm, I'm interested I'm to know, the case. is there a way around it? Look, Can you challenge that in the courts? Well, I mean, this point's never been tested in the courts, but that would, should not be anybody's preference. The question that a lot of people are asking now, we've been talking about and it for so you. long. Are you completely impotent in this? If the UK government says no, is there well, anything you can do? Do you UK have another way around them? The UK government in their... Uh, stands right now are making the case for independence because if it is the case that Scotland and I'm not saying it is if it is the case that Scotland is impotent then I can't think of a better argument for Scotland being independent. That's an argument for independence that's not a strategy to get a referendum. Look, I will make the case and win the case for independence. And if the UK government continues to say no when you've won the case for having another referendum, but they can keep saying I'm no. I'm going to make the preparations in the Scottish Parliament, build the case for independence. That's and going it will through be, the motions. Look, we can, you can keep asking me the same question for the rest of the interview if you want. I haven't heard your strategy for it, well, how you're my, going to deliver My strategy is to make and win the case for independence and I'm confident we're going to do it. And if the UK government says no? The UK government won't keep saying no, Pope. That would you're be banking on them changing completely, their mind. Look, I'm banking on democracy prevailing. You, you um, talk about a replacement for the government. Which of Theresa May's potential replacements do you think would be amenable look, to having I'm a Scottish make, referendum? I'm Boris Johnson, would I'm he going, give you permission? I'm, well, I think Jacob rees -Mogg. Boris Johnson or J Jacob Michael, rees Michael Gove. Any of the names you've just mentioned there uh, would send support for independence uh, soaring through the roof. Look, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm in charge of my own uh, decisions. I'm in charge of how I make the case for independence. I'm going to make the positive case for Scotland being a normal, independent European country. And I don't think a UK government should or will be able to stand in the way of the Scottish people expressing its will. That's a very strong and well-articulated argument for why Thank you. Scotland should be independent. <laughs> You've been arguing it for a long time. I still haven't heard, though. What's your strategy you for just, giving the people I, I a referendum? Have, the UK government's strategy is to say no. Do you have a way around it? My strategy is to say yes. First Minister, thank you very thank much. You.